Y'all, somebody better call a pastor because I'm about to sit here and go ham. Hey, I'm so sick and tired of these folks sitting here going back and forth at this point. I don't care who right, I don't care who wrong. All I know is that K. Michelle and Tamar Braxton, look, this shit don't work my nerves. Anyways, this video is going to be about my thoughts on the K. Michelle versus Tamar Braxton beef. Honestly, I think it's all bullshit, but here we go anyways. Let's roll it. So first of all, y'all, I had to sit here and go and do some digging and find out exactly what the hell was all of this beef about anyway to go way back in 2013. Because, you know, if I recall correctly, K. Michelle and Tamar Braxton did a video, well, not a video, but they came on a BET performance or something, and they did a song together or whatever and you know i thought after that that everything was cool but prior to that from my understanding is that this all started over a damn blonde wig or maybe it started over some other shit but i hear i don't really see him no and i don't really see him give a damn however with that being said what i am upset about is the fact that as of recently there has been some reignite or relit or or fuel adding more fuel to the fire as far as with some beef that is pertaining to K. Michelle and Tamar Braxton as it pertains to them going back and forth with each other. And the crazy part about it is that I don't even think Tamar was being shady. So basically, let me break it down for y'all. Things first. Tamar Braxton came on T.S. Madison's show. For those of you don't, for those of you who may not know who T.S. Madison is, T.S. Madison is a uh, businesswoman. She's a uh, blogger, if you want to see and call it that, she has her own show called The Queen Supreme Court that you know she does, I think, every Monday nights around about maybe 9 30 ish, something like that, 10 30 ish. Um, and so basically, Tamar came on one of these shows, I don't know whether it was The Queen of Supreme Court or either Maddie in the Morning because she also has a show called Maddie in the Morning. And apparently, Tamar Braxton came on with Tamar Braxton, T.S. Madison, and Craig. Now, basically. What happened is that there was a video that occurred, and I'm gonna show you the video right here. Take a look. Who a versus? With who? Okay, Michelle. Oh. Um, how long how much time have we been on here, Mo? <laughs> Hold on, Craig, you talking too much. Now, with all due respect, yeah, that video was shady as fuck. I'm just gonna say and be honest. And the reason why it was shady, and the reason why it was shady as fuck is because Craig the writer Stewart, aka Delicate Ankles, was up there being shady by turning around and doing all this damn looking around the room. And it basically gave off the insinuation that, you know, it was shade being thrown because of the fact of how his facial expression was, and then everybody else busted out in the lab, and then Tamar went off camera and she just started ringing her bell. But Anybody that follows Tamar knows that she the reason why she has this bell is basically because of the fact that she stated that she's all about peace, kumbaya, and harmony in her life. So this bell is supposed to represent every time there's some shit, some shade, everything that's being thrown, she rings the bell in order to keep herself from being put in the middle of shit that she ain't got no business being put in the middle of, which honestly, I think is a good idea. However, being that once again, when you are in association with the shade sometimes it just is what it is so therefore it came across as shady so as a result of that because of that video happening k michelle saw it and then ended up responding take a look bro I talk about nobody when you when you sleeping with a married man when you were sleeping with a married man you were sleeping with jermaine dupree daddy say what who daddy and get your eat by jermaine dupree mama in the elevator but you want to talk to me you want to talk about me? I don't for marry me. Hmm. But you so holy. Hmm. Now, K. Michelle. Look, sweetheart. I understand that you sensitive. And I also understand that you ain't got nothing else better to do with your time than to be sitting here going on here. First of all, before we even get into that, 
I had to go and see and figure out who the hell Jermaine Dupri daddy was because apparently Jermaine Dupri daddy must be a damn 10 on a scale from 1 to 10 because apparently everybody in this look with Jermaine Dupri daddy. Hence, do we forget the lie that um, one of the Scott, Scott sisters told on the escape, Candy Burris, about sleeping with Jermaine Dupri and the daddy? I mean, I had to go and see and take a look and figure out who the hell is Jermaine Dupri daddy because damn, he must be like damn fine as wine or rich as hell or some shit because everybody's sitting here claiming that dick. Look, I'm just reporting the news. Don't sit here and shoot the messenger. I'm just on the scene calling the way I see it. With that being said, I did take a look at Jermaine Dupri daddy and rest assured, he ain't all that. Uh, why? Uh-uh, so, no guy. So basically, I say all that to say, you get the gist of what I'm trying to get at. Basically, a video was made during an interview. Shade was thrown and Tamar was guilty by association because she really didn't say anything to the girl. She really didn't say anything bad. She just rung her little bell and got out the screen and that was it. Everybody else in the video laughed and did, what they ever, did whatever they did as far as the shady shit and that was that. So with that being said, I don't understand why there was a need for K. Michelle to sit here and come on here talking about somebody done slept with somebody's dad and somebody getting their ass beat in the elevator and all this other shit. Look, K. Michelle, sweetheart, let me tell you something. The beef that you have with Tamar, the grudge that you have with Tamar, I'm going to need for you to let that shit go. The shit is getting old. And for you to sit here and come on and be a grown-ass woman, and now we all going through all this damn pandemic shit, and we got people out here killing each other and all kind of other shit going on, and now you want to sit up here and take your damn yodeling ass up here to sit here and read somebody talking about what somebody done sit here and did in their past, allegedly, even though we we know good time well that you done done a lot of shit in your past, okay? Allegedly, okay? Let's just keep it real, okay? You ain't no saint either. So I'm going to need for you to see him bring it down three notches as well. And honestly, y'all, it's sad to me because both of them honestly can sing. No shade, no tea. Both of them can sing. Minus K. Michelle yodeling and shit and all that country music, music she been doing and stuff that I ain't living for. But aside from that, you know, can't, can't, um, can't raise a man and shit. That's my jam. I love this song. But I just feel like that all of this stuff was really unnecessary. It really could have been avoided. And why is it that you got to be so sensitive that you are that bitter and that jaded that you just are so just waiting for the opportunity for somebody to say something or for somebody to even give an inkling that they're, they're talking about you, that you got to see and feel the need to go and see and go on live, make a video, whatever the hell you did to go and see here and show somebody who really wasn't even sitting here talking bad about you. It's just that somebody asked them a question and they just sit here and basically gave an answer and now you and your feelings over there. Like, have you really let the shit go, K. Michelle? Have you really moved on? I mean, like, have you really moved on? Now, what would have been shady is if Tamar would have said something to the extent of, I don't know Kmart. She could have said that. I'm just saying. She could have said that. I don't know who Kmart is. I'm just saying. Something to think about. But she didn't. Somebody asked her a question about the versus battle. She asked the question, who? T.S. Madison said, K. Michelle. And all hell broke loose. And that's just simply what it was. And, you know, in response to it, Tamar also did another video to where she was basically explaining herself with, you know, her fiancé or husband or whoever the man is. Because, honey, they, they, they together one day and the next day they not together. But basically... She, you know, was talking about how she is just trying to, you know, as far as worry and focus on raising her child. She's not here for the drama. And I honestly, like I said, I honestly don't think there was any shade being thrown towards K. Michelle as far as directly from Tamar. I just feel like that she got asked the question and it just was guilt by association shade. Now, do the two have beef? Yeah, they may have still have beef. Yeah, there may be still some underlying issues between one another. But, I, you know, like I said, it ain't nothing that can't be squashed. We are going through real problems, real issues besides two women sitting here fighting over something they ain't even sitting worth fighting over. And then to see the fact that you're going to bring up talking about somebody sleeping with Jermaine Dupree daddy. Look, I'm going to need for y'all to sit here and lay off Jermaine Dupree daddy. He ain't all of that. Okay, he looked like a bottle of Bisquick, uh, a damn box of Bisquick. So I'm going to need for y'all to sit here and lay off Michael and focus on yourself. Okay, Michelle, that was uncalled for. I mean, I'm quite sure there's plenty of people that we can see here and name Mr. Idris Elba. 
Okay, when it comes to seeing naming on people that you don't see here and slept with, who don't matter of fact, who don't even want your ass, who don't sit here and left your ass for another woman, okay, and I had a kid and everything else raising a family. But yet yeah, instead she didn't sit here and throw that she didn't fire that shot back at your ass, she left it alone. She didn't say nothing else about it. I'm just saying, make it make sense. And then you want to sit here and get up here and want to sit and talk about somebody sleeping with somebody there. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I hope to God that none of your skeletons in your closet come out, K. Michelle, because rest assured, I'm quite sure that you done done some shit that you ain't proud of. And even if the shit is true, who are you to sit here and judge anybody else about who somebody done sit here and slept with? Okay. Once again. Let's take a look at your past and your track record of men that you see him being with. I'm just keeping it real. And this is coming out of a place of love. This ain't coming out of a place of hate. I'm just trying to see and educate you, girl, and get you together and see and let you know that it really is not worth it for you to sit here and argue with nobody all because somebody said something up what you feel like somebody was shading you when they wasn't even really seeing him shading you, okay? And even if she was, let's just play devil advocate and say she was. Why are you so bothered, Okay. People have to stop letting people get underneath their skin. Stop being bothered. Stop responding to every damn thing. Close your phone. Give your phone to your assistant. Shut the shit down. Everything don't call for a response. Every action don't call for a reaction. Sometimes you just got to learn how to bite your tongue, sit there, and look cute. Don't you don't you got some kind of surgery to be fixing them dents and stuff you got going? I mean, you I'm, look, don't y'all see him at me. I'm just sitting here saying, don't, don't you got some kind of surgery you need to be focused on or something? Focus on fixing yourself. Work on yourself. Stop worrying about what somebody got to say about you. Even if the girl did say anything about you, what do it matter? And now here it is. We back with the whole Cayman and Shan Tamar beef. You know, the social media outlets just having a field day with it. Coming out with all kind of fake shit. Seeing just making up shit. And knowing good time well that half the shit probably ain't true. But y'all feeding into the bullshit. And now because, of, because the people out there feeding into the bullshit... They y'all probably thinking that the shit is true, and now here it is about to be a whole field again. We got real issues going on out here. We ain't got time for y'all to be saying arguing, okay? So, okay, Michelle, I'ma need for you to say and take your yodeling ass and sit down somewhere, okay? And I ain't gonna say it no more, and that's gonna be it. Like this video, share this video. It's Mr. Six Feet Eight. Coming back at you with another video soon. Stay tuned. I love you, my fun soldiers. Peace. Mm-hmm.